All right, hey everybody, Brad, and uh, today I ain't had to work this weekend since I got my truck in the wreck. I already had the weekend scheduled off, but you know I got a rental car. But I just ain't feeling like going anywhere. I've been drawing, done a couple of portraits last night and one this morning. I just put them up, but you know what? Now I want to go back, and I was using the, uh, a messy ballpoint pen, the big velocity and sometimes it just lets ink out and it kind of I don't know I don't think it'll be good to do a uh, I want to do a, a street view of some houses and I'm gonna use my micron 005 Let's see if we can get that that's a point two millimeter twenty millimeter so Got them from Hobby Lobby, so I'm still like playing in. And this this won't blotch up my my canvas, if you want to call it that. We're gonna go ahead and get started, though, so I won't bore you to death. And then uh, we go from there. Anyway, I'm doing this thing, uh, picture the uh, this guy named Peter Sheeler, I think it is. How you pronounce his name? I hope I'm saying it right. And uh, he just draws some houses and everything, so I'm gonna go along with that. Plus, them uh, ballpoint pens, oh my lord, they would uh, get all over your hands, all over, and then I'd, I'd smear it all over. You can still probably see a little bit right there. Even after taking a shower, it just, it stick to you. Uh, it's just kind of aggravating. And uh, what it is, is, it's row houses. It'd be like one beside each other, and that's what we're going to do. Uh, yeah, I'm gonna go ahead. Now, the way he's drawn it, you know, it, it ain't got to be perfect. Uh, so, just something fun to do, cause especially when I drawed a uh, girl's face last night, I had a real stress. I, I really want to do a, try to do a real good job with her, uh, making it look pretty good, make her look pretty good. And uh, there's one spot where left some ink on her, right, right around the lip. Around, around her lips, it was real crucial. I didn't want to mess that up, but I think it kind of messed it up for me. Sort of at the very end of all that drawing, that just make you so mad. Well, disappointed more than anything. But I know how uh, ball points were due, so you know, I can't really be too mad at them. Whereas these pins right here, uh, they pretty much don't blotch anything, these microns, and I think other fine artist pens would keep you the same way, you know, treat you right, or anything if you want to call that. Yeah, we're gonna just draw some uh, row houses all stuck together, and then we'll use some, uh, I've never used these yet, and I've had them. They're artist color pencils, brand new from Crayola, and believe it or not, they cost more than the Prisma colors that I've been using, but you know, I, I told myself and I, I made that video when I bought both sets from Walmart that I wanted to do a, uh, you know, video with both of them, you know, and just, but I've seen other people's videos and some people say, well, you know, one likes the other one and one like them. It's just, I think it's a preference or which one you're more willing to deal with, really, as to which one you might actually like. Uh, so, it, uh, yeah, I want to just, I don't know what kind of houses these are, might be up north from where I live, and we ain't got nothing like this down south Georgia, maybe up New England, or this could be over in England itself, or Scotland, Ireland, I really ain't going in debt, I know he's got a, a Twitter page and all that, that's what I'm actually, a flicker. Uh, that's actually what I'm using the picture on. He's got a, uh, a page right here, or whatever. I really don't know what that's all about, but I reckon I should have kind of looked at it, but I didn't. Oh well. They might not let nobody like me crazy old talker way I talk in there looking at their stuff anyway. <laughs> yeah, huh? Yeah. When the. Uh, I was making overtime this last week, coming home Thursday night, because it was the night shift I was 
I volunteered to go in, you know, and make some extra money. I got a credit card bill I wanted to knock out because it that interest is it's insane. I wanted to go ahead and knock that out. So uh, that's what I was wanting to do. And uh, I was coming along and pow, he was right out of nowhere. I made a video about that, actually showing the damage of the, what the deer did. But anyway, I got out and looked at it, and it was a part of the county where I was going through. It's real dark, and it's near, actually near uh, a state park, wilderness park, I reckon you want to call it, Wild Wildlife Park. I reckon that's the best way to say it. Wildlife Park. Now, that, oh, Get back to this picture. It's uh, it's loosely drawn. It's just something other to have fun with, and uh, that's what I'm gonna do. So it ain't gonna be real, real detailed. And I ain't gonna really worry about it. Uh, and uh, I got uh, uh non-copyrighted. I reckon uh. YouTube station on right now and it's got like uh, piano music and other kind of music I think just something relaxing playing on every once in a while a commercial come on I got that playing on in the background on the TV and uh, it's it's classified under that common creative so somebody else can use it for a video for the sale or maybe hopefully uh, if y'all can hear it in the background over me talking or when I ain't talking and drawing. Uh, this is something relaxing for me. I'm gonna try it out and see how it works for me. Uh, but, you know, if it helps you relax, you know, why not? You know, sometimes I get carried away with trying to be absolutely perfect with this stuff. So that has to be like a sick house and actually the background was the first house. And uh, the way he's drawn them, it's like every one of them has got their own color, identity, kind of thing going on. I really like that, how you done that. Uh, kind of only classy look to them, I reckon. And uh, we're gonna see if I can, you know, do him a little bit of justice with trying to replicate he is a colorful, artistic way of he how he does his stuff. And uh, yeah, this is a whole lot less stressful from... There were several pictures I used last night when I was drawing with a ballpoint pen that I'd be going along and I might slow down or go in and curve and all of a sudden, like a little speck you know like it just dump, decided to dump some ink out on the paper and burn you it just you know i would seem like it always around the mouth i reckon i was drawing slow trying to do the lips correctly and it just spewed everywhere or it made a big old blotch but yeah and then come to think about it maybe it gave it some character so it didn't have to be so perfect i reckon if you want to call it that Now some of these, he used the pen to actually uh, make the interior darker. Right? Some of them he did, and then some of them he can like this one right here. He combined the pen with a, a, a color pencil oil. He actually was using uh, watercolor. But I'm gonna try it, see if I can get the same effect with uh, a color pencil. So I mean, that might be interesting if I can do that. But uh, yeah. We'll uh, speed right along here. I might make this two, uh, two episodes if this starts getting too long. But I'm gonna try to do my best to go ahead and knock it out right here. So like right through here, he has this, and then he's got like a blue uh, involved with it too. So that's pretty interesting. And then right, right, right here is a, a front door for this apartment. So I reckon it kind of actually sits behind. This one sits behind this one right here in a way. And they're not gonna be realistic scale, but I reckon, you, you know, if you wanna call it a re realistic scale, it ain't gonna be up to that. 
But, uh, you got some stairs up right here. And, uh, they just go down. to meet that side right here because it actually sits behind it right here but uh i reckon you'd call this a, a miniature bay window it's got three sides you really can't see them on my picture don't really he done a good job but i'm gonna try it he has a old rain gutter right here. It's weird. It's got it's got like a fence right here. You know what? I'm waiting one on one of these days. These pins are gonna run out and or start fading out. I don't gotta run up town or stop that. Whatever that video will be, and this is gonna be the light pole slash a power coat, power pole. Let's do the top of this house right here. We bring it on up. Right here. It's just a simple top. There we go. A little chimney in the middle of the house. This might be. This guy, I think he, he might be from England or something or. or Somewhere over there in Europe. I think it might be England. Uh. But he draws these houses just awesome. I mean, this ain't gonna be perfect, but you know, I wanna try to just see what I can do with it. It's like an attic kind of apartment. I don't know really anything about no kind of apartment since we live down south. We really ain't, really ain't got nothing like that around here. I mean, I got to do the door. He's got it shaded in with his nothing else. His black marker. Right? There we go. Okay, so we done with him. Done with this. All right, well, I got to draw. Let's see. The bottom of it, where the foundation is. That'd be gray, and there's like an air vent right here. There we go. All right, now we go behind it. This one right here. Oh, right, the power cable right here is gonna go a little bit higher, and it's gonna stretch how he's got it somewhat. I'm gonna try to emulate a little of what he's got right here. Might change it up a little bit, so I don't know. I've seen people on Pinterest drawing this, uh, and they, they try to get as realistic as possible or close to what he's actually doing right here. And uh, we'll speed on a little bit. And this one right here actually sits behind the house, also. Just goes up just like that. Yeah, actually got a chimney back here, so it might actually sit a little bit further back than that right here. What y'all think about that? And then, you know, things up under. I reckon that supports part of the roof, I reckon. Then you got another window right here. I 
nice big one. And it actually kind of goes in the shadow back there behind the uh, second house. And you just draw the house all the way to you see the floor of this right here. This don't have like a, I don't know what you call it, crown molding or whatever, or the outside of the house. I don't know what you really call it. There ain't no carpenter, right? Ain't no carpenter. Get on up in here and just, that'd be like the floor. So I reckon the attic, the second floor, and the first floor. And then, uh, Got a big old thing right here, and then the uh, its entrance will be right here. Comes all the way down to the street level, so I assume they got like a window right here, and then the door itself with a peephole and maybe something fancier like, that, like a handle right here instead of just the old door and all right here uh, let's see then straight on down all right then we got a long house right here maybe a flat for a couple people right oh you see that it's starting to Might be starting to thin out a little bit, what y'all think? Or right, maybe I just draw it too fast. I ain't using them in a while, maybe I lost trans off. It had to come all the way down like that. With a foundation. Got the one on vent right there. Let's see. And he's just kind of put stairs in like that. He didn't really care, so I kind of like that. And it's got what you call French doors for entrance. That's an interesting concept right in the city. But, you know, this could be a small town. Yep, yeah, that's what it could be. Ain't gotta be perfect, do it. Nah. And it's weird, it's got like double windows all the way up. So I reckon that's what we'll do. Double windows all the way up with the French doors. I reckon that's what you call it. So what do they call it? Up front for a door. Well, we got them over here. Some people put them in the back, the back of the house for your back door on the back side where all of us got back yards and everything and you know that's where a lot of people like to barbecue or hang out and socialize have parties or whatever yeah they probably drank in the water you know you know how that is uh anyhow let's see well no up here he's got a, a regular window i ain't studied enough about uh It's got like a little curve on top of that. I ain't studied enough about architect to be really good at saying if this is good or not. It's got another big window over here. Like on the bottom right here, but it's only one. It's only one pane. So, well, one windowed. It's just got one in the middle. And, uh, and then the roof kind of comes up like that. So I reckon all these are like kind of flat roofs or something. And way back, I reckon there are chimneys back here or something. Or, and then you got one more. We're almost done. Right here. And here's a stretch. About the, almost the end of the paper. We'll stop it right here. There, I need to put it in the line right on 
Let's see. We got some more attic windows up here, written rooms. I know some people around where, uh, around here, they had to put them up there, but there's really nothing up there. <laughs> it's just for looks. So, I mean, I, I don't think I'd do that. Because I think over time, you can get your roof leak up in the crawl space where your heating and air, you know, part of your heating and air unit might be. So you got to draw that up in there. Because it does kind of cut into you and you can, should barely be able to see it. That slight leaning of the uh, apartment right here. And then it's got some funky little stuff right here. I have no idea what this is, but I'm gonna draw it. It comes down, and then you got the door right here on the end. And this one actually got a little walk with a little uh, port. A little, uh, you hear the, the mute they cut off. We're going to go to a commercial now. Got side of the house, and then you got like a maybe a little fenced in back thing or something. Like so. And it's got one little window in the front. That's, that's unusual. And then it's got a handrail. And, uh, it, uh, got a little stair system right here. Uh, and it's got like a, maybe it's got a, And it's got a, maybe a basement apartment or a basement, uh, man cave, maybe? Big old man cave down here, maybe? Where you got your flat screen TV and you don't know what. Y'all cross these, maybe a pool table or dart board or whatever. But, uh, People around here, if they got a man cave, they're gonna have a big old TV. Uh, maybe a pool table. They're gonna have them a refrigerator for the beer. Most people around here watch football. The majority of them gonna have some kind of <laughs> alcohol beverages in it. That's just, that's really just how it is. Uh, so, I reckon the further away it is, he just kind of left all the detail out, said, I'm going to do the same thing. So, uh, uh, that's the thing I'm going to do right here. And these are like boards. This is a board house, I reckon. It looks like a board house. So we're going we're gonna to leave it like that. And this is actually a block house. He's got little blocks here and there. Let them know it's a little block house. There we are. Alright. Now. Let's color this bad boy in. Oh, you know what? I forgot to do one more one last thing. Got to put the lights up here. Or the uh, utilities, right? I know there's gonna be like a transformers thing about two of them might do it. And then we will just do some wires here and there, like he's got going in his house. He just got him come way over here. So that might actually be a chimney in it. Oh. There we are. How about that? And we just got a bunch of wires, and I don't really I ain't too familiar with it how the electricity works we'll just make it look like an actual road right here like you done we'll uh, run it up here all right now it comes 
The cold pencils come like that, but they got crazy little trays that when you try to get the crap out, they just they sitting on top, and it took me everything to get this stuff out without flopping them everywhere. But I already pulled out the pens or pencils I want, so we'll just go right here, and, and they got a different texture than the prisma color and all that. But we'll just go ahead and get started. So uh, let's see. Orange for all. We'll go ahead and do all the chimneys. And it ain't gotta be perfect. I like how you done it. It ain't gotta be perfect. I like that. And yeah, let's see if anything else. Yeah, down here. Right down here, he had orange. I like that. It's different. Down here for the man cave. Them boys in there might be drinking or something. They should be shaming themselves. Or might be a uh, place you can rent out or something. I don't, I don't know. Alright, that's all the orange. Alright, now we go for the gray. Let's see. I ain't trying to see how dark this is for some of the roofs, right? Y'all see that? What if I zoom in? Ah, hey, yeah. Now see, y'all probably look better way off, but you know I want to do like he done, just having fun. I heard he just sometimes you know. I might take it, you know, to uh, stress. Stress won't be perfect all the time, and all, especially in portraits. Uh, like that girl when I draw her eyelid, eyelids and the lashes and everything. I was really stressing out. I said, "Man, I'm gonna, I'm gonna really mess this up." And uh, you know, I, just, I just need to quit worrying about stuff like that. If it happens, it happens, and just have try to have fun with it. Right. Uh, some, not this right here, it'd be gray, and this right here, be gray. I'm gonna show you something because there, there's a shadow, he's actually, even with his watercolors and everything, and this simple art right here, he actually had a shadow on this side, and I'm gonna see if this black, that's gray, and this just regular old black. On the side right here, yeah. Kind of a shadow. Well, that's interesting how it done that. Yeah, I like that. Huh? And uh, over the front a little bit too. Huh? And let's see. On the top of the other. You know what? I done that. You couldn't even see it. <laughs> I got a mirror where I zoomed it in. But that's what I done, that shadow right here, and there was a shadow cast by that, so I used the black right here, and the gray was right around here. I apologize for that. And let's see, this one over here, this actually a dark, maybe because it's further away or whatever. See how they're just messing everything up. Well, color this and then with a black, you know. Keep in mind, he was using wood color, so his would still be vibrant, no matter what, but one day I'll get into that, try to learn how to do all that, I reckon. All right, make sure I got everything. Uh, now. Oh, where's my... I don't know. Let's try this one right here. Uh, the house. Believe it or not, this house right here is a, like a gold. So that's what we're gonna do, right? I'm gonna cut this whole built bad boy in with gold. I think I wanna try to really get the, uh, the colors of the houses dark or noticeable with the actual color. I'm trying to make it look like. See it go all the way down here and around here in the bottom right here. Oh, and the part up under that's pretty cool. The part up under the eve. I ain't there. I, I need to start doing this zoom in and let you know everything ain't perfect. Up under here, and then the 
inside of the, these right here will be blue. So you had a, uh, anything else that I can, oh that's cool. So it's a white house and he used watercolor and it was a blue as the shaded part of the house. Now that's, that's interesting. I like that. That's it. What y'all think? I, that was pretty cool right there. I like that. So the part of the house, this part right here would turn into blue all the way down. Now he actually just made this whole uh, window right here and everything blue. And a little bit of the inside. Mixed in, I think, you know, he got, he got some like, some green in there too, so I'll, I'll pick a green up. What I think of these color pencils so far, well, they're doing a pretty good job, you know? I can't complain. Uh, oh, down here too, down here in the bay window. I think the, maybe somebody should paint it is probably blue. That's what I'm thinking. Because, you know, I think I just think that's what he wanted, right? I think the inside of where right And it, uh, he actually brought it all the way down and kind of done it like that. And I think he was using actually using the blue for like a shade. Right. We'll get all our blues done before uh, I go into anything yet. So that's cool. Instead of making it ugly, ugly black or gray, everything, why not just have the whole thing, you know, the shadows blue? Now, this one right here is kind of a bluish. Now, while we had it, we'll go ahead and he put some green in there too, so I got a robin's egg blue. I don't know if you see it. There you go, but it's, it's like a green. A light green. He done that into the windows up here. Huh. All right. Well, there's something new every day. That's interesting. Of course, you can go to his YouTube channel, uh, Peter Sheeler, I think that's how you say his name. I hope I'm not wrong or bad at making his name look kind of messed up or whatever, but he, uh, it's interesting how he done this right here. I like that. Got his own little style going on. That's, that's neat. Now let's see. Anything else green, I might as well keep it out. If I want to do anything else green, see some of this winter up here. It's got some, yeah. Hey, Bray, you copping that man? I said, well, maybe. But you're learning from I'm learning from him, really. That's what I'm doing. Uh, and this other stuff now, you're going to have sun right through the, these bay doors. I think that's what they are. And, uh, Actually, use some of it for a shadow right there. And let's see. On the other side of there. Up here, mixed in with the blue also. We're going to mix them all together. And let's see. Now we go back with the blue. Mix it in together. People call it blending these experts on YouTube. I know I ain't near, nowhere close to being one of them, but I'll just take the word for it. Right? And that's actually, that's pretty interesting using this as a shadow or for up under the windowsills and all that. So that's interesting. That's that kind of mixed in with the, the gray and the black right there. Over the whole thing, really. So that's, that's really interesting how you done that. Oh, I forgot these two. Look at right here. I forgot these are here. Yep. Yeah. 
You know what? Let's see. Let's see, let's see. Red, he got red door, a couple red doors, so we, and a uh, house that's actually red. So we'll, we'll, we'll do this real quick. Like. Now, if you're a key, what it is, I'm sorry about the earlier representation of older people drinking or whatever, but yeah, you probably got aunt, uncles or whatever that might do that kind of stuff, so I'm sorry. Anyway, I'm sure they're not bad people. Anyway, but I think anybody can do this right here. Now, this house right here is actually red. This one right here is actually red, so. I don't know who built this house, but it went through this house and you can see a little bit of it right through the crack between the two houses right there. Ain't that wild? Yeah, I'm be I'm bearing down on this since I think it's like a in the shadow, so it should be darker color, right? There we go. We come down here. To the bottom floor. I reckon you can shotgun house, townhouse, whatever you want to call them. I really don't know what y'all would call them elsewhere in the world besides where I live. That right here. It ain't got nothing going on right here, so. For the foundation, uh, right here. what color is it? Yeah, I'm getting messed up right here. The bottom right here is for some reason it's that color. You know, maybe it must be that color with the shadow, right? <laughs> yeah, I'm, I'm right here. I'm my little, uh, I'm supposed to do the the hangar report, whatever you want to call this thing right here. Go ahead and get it grayed in. And this one right here. Alright, go ahead and get it grayed in. You know what? I think like right through here. I'm going to make it gray instead of white. Make it slightly different here. So yeah, it's gonna be a blue. A blue is gray, ain't that crazy? But that's what we're gonna make it. Right? Make it my own. Make it my own. You know, I need to do that a little bit deep better, don't I? Yeah. A little bit better. Uh, maybe around here too. Around the, yeah. There, there we go. Uh, I'll uh, make the light pole stand out. I'll make I'll make that black. I ain't gotta be perfect. Goes behind the fence. Then we got it right here. Make like a light source. Come out that, that way. You know, even though it ain't on. I might be able to, uh, let's see, put a little bit of life into it, right? I'm gonna just color a light yellow. The other one's gold, this is just yellow. And you say, bruh, you just turn the lights on. Well, yeah, maybe. And the transformers, the thing that supplies the energy from the pose. All right? Let me just make them dark like that with like a little light source coming up on Coming that way, right? That's what we'll do. And then we'll come over here and do the chimneys. All right, let's get started over here. Oh, let's see, that's a green door right here. A dark green, right here. How about that? He wanted to make it colorful, that's for sure, but it ain't, ain't nothing wrong with it. 
stand out, get people to notice, right? Yeah, get people to notice his drawings and or his pen ink, right? His inking. Let's see in that top part would be gray. The overhang. I don't even want to know. Look right here. I got come back. Let's see what uh Yeah, I got so many pencils in my hand. With the gray. Let me go ahead and do this right here and get it out of the way. I about forgot. This overhang. I buttoned the the main, the main uh windows and everything. And actually it was gray down here. I think that was actually gray too, so we gotta do that. And uh, that right there is actually, look at all this stuff on. <laughs> hey, I'm gonna, I'm gonna cut that in this coat right here, like old board or something. Right? Privacy fence, everybody's got them, I got one. Both sides of the yard, kinda. And you know what, it's all the way back over here, another privacy fence, let me go ahead and knock this one out. I don't think I got to touch this pencil again that I know of. I'll look real quick, but uh, we got a, uh, let's see, a, a darker brown for it. You know what? I'm, I'm, I'm seeing things. That'll be a, let's see, a dark red. Dark red, dark red. Hey, that's colorful characters. He, he got red going through his hairs. And this door way down here is red. Make it stand out. And then blue. And let's see, this color of this house actually is blue. The whole thing, right there, the whole thing is blue. So. I see that? Yeah, but we, we'll do the shadow. I think there's a darker blue in the pack. The shadow below the, the eave right here. You notice a flat roof I reckon, or, or sloping back roof from the front. It slopes back so the rain will roll off roof. I reckon. We'll just get this size right here. Yeah, I might have this stuff like this across the ages. All different colors. England, I reckon Scotland, Ireland. Hey, you know, we might have this up near, like, older cities in America. Boston, Philadelphia, probably Washington, D.C., townhouses, row houses. I think that's what you call them, row houses. Townhouses. But, yeah, you know what I think I can do it because I don't want to just put that dark. There's some of these, I think, sitting in there. Might need just a hair of a shadow in there. Since it is right here, in the shadow of this right here. And this one actually needs a shadow. Yeah. A little bit more. Do our own thing with this. We're about done, though. We are about done. Shadow right here from the red house over to this one, maybe. What y'all think? Maybe on this side?
Maybe something like that. Yeah. There we go. Yeah, I think I need to darken this end on it. Yeah, since it's in the background, way in the background. I think I make a good decision right here. fun little project. I'm not stressed out really. Anybody can draw a, a box and put some windows on it and put some more boxes in it. It'll be a, a house of some kind. A little cabin in the woods. I, I draw one of them but I took forever trying to make it look my biggest problem trying to make it look too perfect. I think this right here is turning out pretty good though. Y'all don't be bashful to leave any kind of comments as long as they ain't nasty in the, or mean, there you go, in the comment section below if you're still watching. If anybody thinks I've done an okay job, wanna see me do some more of this, or this easy stuff to do, feel free to leave it in the comments. And see, now the shadow is with a, a darker green. Now I paid down here in South Georgia, I paid, ooh, let's see, these are like $18. These right here, let's see how I zoom out. Them were like $18. And my Prisma color. I really can't tell you. These right here, they were like $16, believe it or not, the Prisma color. Premiere. Anyway, so they supposed to be better off, but I think they do a pretty good job. I'm not gonna lie. Uh, what was I doing? Uh, yeah, putting the uh finishing touches on. We about doing this. Anyhow, yeah. And uh, you know what? Uh, let me do this up here. That's supposed to be white them roof right here, right in the fence here, and some other roof or whatever. Oh yeah, that is it. Uh, I'm not gonna do anything more. Try to get over. Well, I could uh, these steps only paint on blue, so we paint on blue. You know what? How about I do the street? Over here in America, it's asphalt, and I'm getting slightly old. It turns. But you know what? Let's say, for argument's sake, that this is a, a brick road. I don't imagine y'all got these in Europe if you're watching from Europe. So we'll do a, a brick road, huh? Cobblestone, I reckon. How about that? Cause I already got too much gray here. I don't want to make it look too much pitiful or whatever. A red brick road, cobblestone red brick. I don't know if y'all got cobblestone red brick or whatever, but and let's see, I got to do the stairs some more. That's it. We're done. That quick. Well, I don't know if it's quick or not, but anyhow, let's see. We can zoom in. And we'll, uh, I know what I'll do. I'll take the camera off the map. There we go. Now I'll zoom in and get everything for you. 
Ain't gotta be perfect. All right. Shadows and the colors and everything. And that's it. Yeah, what you think about that? Y'all like that? I think it turned out good. If you have watched this the whole time, I thank you. Uh, and if any of y'all like this, let me know. And thank you for watching. And uh, I'll go ahead and upload this. And y'all have a good rest of your weekend. This is Brad. And I, I actually enjoyed doing this. I didn't know if I would or not, but I enjoyed it. Thank you for watching. All right, see y'all there, bye.